Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial about the Oscillat modular system by Max for Cats. The Oscillat modular system is a modular system which was designed and created with Max for Life and Max MSP. And it is now conveniently available as a Ableton Live pack, which you can install into your Ableton Live software. And once you did so, it will appear in the places pack section as any other Ableton Live pack. And you can open it, unfold it, and you will see there are three um, Oscillot devices. And well, the first one is the AFX audio effect version, which you can place on audio tracks to make modular audio effect, which is very interesting. The second one is a little MIDI receive utility, which we will cover later. And the third one is the Oscillot itself, the instrument version, which lets you design your own modular instruments and modular well, environments. As with any other Ableton Live Pack, you will see that at the right side there is a so-called lesson, which opens automatically once Oscillot is installed. And well, you can close this lesson, and if you want to reopen it, you can right-click on a pack and open the show default lesson, and it will open the lesson again. And this lesson is very helpful because it gives you an overview of the categories and some little helps and so and ways how to get help and find information. So it's very recommended to read these nine pages of information. But of course, we make this video tutorial to make to get you up and running with the Oscillat system. And once you place the instrument version on a MIDI track, it will appear at the bottom of the Ableton Live screen in the device view. And you will see that there are already some settings you can make. For example, the voice allocation settings and uh, the economic mode. But leave both to their initial values for the time being, mono mode and economic mode off. Also, you will see the, the version numbers of the Oscillot, your installed live version and your max version. And you have a macro section. And this macro section actually corresponds with a specialized module in your Oscillot system, which I will show in a minute. And you have a little arrow to fold and unfold the macro section if you don't need it to save some space. Also, you have the most important button, which is the Open Editor button. And by clicking it, you come to the patching ground, the editor of the Oscillot system. And here you have at the top of the screen your modules, your categories. Starting from left to right, we have the input-output sections, like uh, where you have like all the connections from, from Oscillot to live and, and elsewhere. The oscillators, the sample modules, modulators, processors, filters, mixers, VCAs, shapers, effects, sequences, logic modules, and utility modules. And then we have some little uh, an info view, which, which always gives you an um, explanation about a module and tells you what this module does and so on. And then you have patch cord um, functions, straight patch cords and curved patch cords, and a height function for the patch cords, which I will show you also in a minute. But now we want to get started by making a little synthesizer. And by, for that, we need a little module which gives us the CV data in our Oscillot system and translates the incoming MIDI data to that particular data. That's the MIDI to CV gate module. And you just select the entry in the menu here and it will automatically open. And you can take this module and drag it anywhere on the Oscillot screen and move it around. And what else do we need for a synthesizer? Usually an oscillator, and we, we in this case use a traditional oscillator A. And here it comes. It will give us access to all the waveforms, which are which 99% of all the synthesizers use, which are sine wave, sawtooth wave, triangle wave, square waves, and this has also a dual sawtooth wave. And what else do we need? We need an ADSR envelope, which shapes the amplitude of the sound. Then we need a VCA from the VCA section. And of course, we need an output, which sends out the audio to the Ableton Live software. So now we have the uh, most basic ingredients for making a little synthesizer. And the, we only need to patch those together. And patching is done quite easily by clicking on an output. This will create a little cable on your cursor, 
you can move the cursor around and the ca cable comes with it. You can then stick this cable into an input by just hovering with the mouse over this input and just let go of the mouse cursor. So basically, you, you, the pressed mouse button must be released and the uh, connection is established. We need to patch the gate output of the MIDI2 CV gate module into the gate input of the ADSR envelope generator. And the gate function of the uh, envelope will give us a control over the sustain phase of the envelope, which is the third segment here, segment. And you can also trigger the envelope, but this will not give you control over the sustain. So we, in this case, we use a gate. The output of the oscillator goes into the signal input of the VCA, and the signal output of the ADSR goes into the gain input of the VCA to control the the, um, the volume of it. Then we patch the output of the VCA into the input of the audio out, and if we now press a MIDI note, we have some sound. And uh, well, this is the most basic synthesizer you can have. It consists of a input module, an oscillator, an ADSR to shape the sound, and a VCA and of course the audio output, but we want to get things a little bit more interested and we need like in this case for a simple synth which makes a little bit more interesting sounds we need modulation and a filter so we open from the modulator section the LFOA and we go to the filter section and open the letter low pass filter. You can also use of course experiment with all the other filter types and other modulators, but we want to make it in this video tutorial first very traditional in a way so that we have some traditional nice synth sounds. And now we, we connect the output of the oscillator A to the input of the filter so that the filtered signal then can go to the VCA. And we connect the output of the LFO into the CV input of the ladder filter which gives us control over the cutoff frequency. And now if we press now a, a key on the keyboard, we hear that the cutoff frequency is modulated by the LFO. We can adjust the rate and the cutoff frequency and the resonance, of course. So now we have a very, very basic synthesizer voice. It's monophonic. And one nice thing about the Ocelot system is that you can choose the polyphony up to six voices. And this is done, as I said earlier, in the instrument itself. And you can just simply click the voice chooser and set it to the um, desired voice number. In this case, we choose three voices, for example. You will see three active voices. There's one little problem with just uh, activating polyphony, and that is the CPU, because now all the voices eat up CPU. That's why we implemented the economic mode. So if we press now the, the economic mode button to on, you will see, okay, CPU goes back to one. That means, uh, in this case, because no voice is playing, so, uh, no CPU is used, but as soon as you play a key on your keyboard, all the voices will play, uh, depending on how many keys you, you press down, and depending on that, the CPU goes up and down. So it's a dynamic CPU and voice allocation mechanism. Well, now in, you want you have your first synthesizer with a little filter, an LFO, oscillator, envelope, and so on. And you can now, well, arrange the modules as you like. You can hide the patch cords, straighten them, and, and you can increase the size of the editor and things like that. And of course, very important is that now you made your first patch. How can you save that? That's tr done traditionally in Ableton with the little door icon button here. And you can just name your patch and recall it later and it will be stored with the Ableton system. If you want to control functions with the macro panels of the Oscillate system, which are, as I said earlier, at the bottom of the screen at your instrument, you need to have the macro module from the modulator section. Just open it. And here you have access to the eight macro knobs on your instrument. And these corresponds with those outputs. So if you want to patch 
or if you want to use the first macro to, for example, patch it into the pitch of the os oscillator A, and at the same time want to control the frequency of the LFO, you can just make the connection, and it has a little switch which changes the outgoing value from unipolar to bipolar, and that means some inputs require unipolar, some in inputs require bipolar values, and bipolar means minus 5 to plus 5 volts, and unipolar means 0 to 5 volts. But again, you could use the number the module to check out what is required. And now if we play a note and change the first macro on the instrument, we will we will see and hear that with this macro module we can control functions with the push push uh, or any other MIDI controller and we have a nice function. You can rename those macros by clicking on it and typing in something whatever, and this will be stored then also with a preset as usual. So that's the very first basic tutorial about how to patch things with the Oscillate Modular System, and thank you for your attention, and until the next one, happy patching!